Sorry, but you don't need graph rag. I like graph rag. It's a complete new innovation, a shiny new toy. But 90% of you would probably do not need graph rag. And this video, I'm going to show you why you do not need graph rag. What is graph rag? As the name suggests, it is a rag retrieval augmented generation, but it is using the concepts from graph. Graph is a very popular concept in computer science, not in the LLM age. There have been like always something related to graph always happening. For example, a lot of people replaced HTTP requests with GraphQL. You have got graph rag from Microsoft, even though this is not entirely new, Microsoft published this paper on February 13th. But very recently, I think a last week or a couple of weeks back, Microsoft decided to open source the code for us to use graph rag. Now, I'm not going to directly tell you why graph rag is a bad technique. Graph rag, in fact, is a good technique. Graph rag is an improvement. It's a step up from classical rag techniques. But the problem is the way people are thinking that graph rag is what you need is where my problem starts with. First of all, Microsoft's pitch here is that, that a baseline rag struggles to connect the dots. This happens when answering a question requires a traversing disparate pieces of information information through their shared attributes in order to provide new synthesized insights. Baseline RAG performs poorly when asked, being asked to holistically understand summarized semantic concepts over large data collections or even singular large documents. And Microsoft has gone ahead and then given you a bunch of examples where this is the baseline RAG, this is the graph RAG, this is the baseline RAG and this is the graph RAG. Now the first problem is when you scroll to the very bottom of this page, what is the baseline rag that they are referring to here? The baseline rag that they are referring to here is not even a proper rag solution. It is simply a Q&A system that has been built using LangChain. So, so for example, if you have got a stack in which you have got the LangChain Q&A system, then you have got, let's say, something basic you built with Llama Index, and then they have, let's say you have got something more sophisticated with RAG. This is probably the bottom thing, the most bottom in the RAG, uh, let's say, landscape. Now, what Microsoft has done is they have compared this as the baseline RAG and compared it with Graph RAG to say that Graph RAG is important, Graph RAG is better. But that is not how anybody would build a rag. Like if you're in an enterprise setup and this is like all you're going to do is use LangChain and build your rag, probably there is something wrong with the way you're building rag. Rather, you would go up in the stack and use a lot of different techniques to build it. For example, I'll give you a very simple example. The most recent example is evaluating chunking strategies for retrieval. This is a technical report that was published by Chroma. And you might be surprised to know as simple as an operation that is chunking. Chunking is nothing but you've got a large document. How do you separate the document into individual pieces before you know you index, before you retrieve and all those things. The first thing is you're going to chunk. As simple as a technique like chunking changes a huge value in terms of the output score. For example, if you take something like precision, a chunking technique can take the precision from 1.5 to 8. If you take something like recall, a chunking technique can take recall from let's say as small as 83 to 91. And there are a lot of different ways that you can chunk. So the first thing is if you want to improve your RAG solution, first of all, you are not going to build from Q&A with RAG using LangChain, that's not something you're going to do. Second thing is you're not just going to go with basic RAG system if you want to talk about enterprise setup. So you're going to go something further and then use different chunking techniques, uh, improved indexing techniques. You're going to try a lot of advanced RAG techniques with a classical RAG rather than going with graph RAG. So in my opinion, like even though I absolutely love graph RAG, I love graphs, I'm a big fan of anything graph. Graph RAG, the way they have shown graph RAG as an improvement to the baseline RAG, it is a slightly not a very standard comparison, I would say. If this is the example that you have seen and then you are going to build graph RAG for your organization. I mean, as long as it's a hobby project, I don't have a problem. You build a hobby project, be happy, I'm happy. Everybody is happy but if you're going to build it for your enterprise a company i would say you should not build it now that's the reason one don't get fooled by the examples i'm not saying these examples are fake i am just saying that it's not a very fair comparison 
the second problem is uh, a fellow youtuber who is uh, also a very popular channel called prompt engineering recently posted a very nice video if you have not liked the video go ahead and like the video very nice video about graph rag and one of the most important things uh, that the prompt engineering creator has highlighted at the end is that if you see graph rag for them to use a simple book this is a the book from project gutenberg and uh, it's a christmas carol and it's a book with uh, 300 and sorry 32000 words approximately for this book they spent more than a million tokens and that cost them seven dollars so they spent about like uh, 570 requests they spent about like 1 million tokens and it cost them about a seven dollars now imagine that a book a simple book about 32,000 words cost you seven dollars now this can charge this can become a huge charge like if you are in an organization setup i mean every organization would want to use the latest llm like gpt 40 but that is not going to become cost efficient for the uh, for the organization if you end up using graph rag so not just that graph rag is not a huge step up from a decent enterprise production grade rag graph rag is also going to cost you more that's something that we have learned from the prompt engineering video. The third thing is not just that graph rag is going to cost you more, graph rag is also going to be slow because it makes a lot of LLM calls because it is going to take a lot of times. You are going to be with a rag system that is inherently slow and also you might also hit rate limits if you have got a huge amount of documents. So three reasons. One, it's not a huge step up. It's not something revolutionary. Second, it's going to cost you a lot of money. And third, it is going to cost, it's going to cost you more time. It's going to take more time and you might hit rate limits with LLMs when you're dealing with this. Why it is critical? It is very critical because when you're using a RAG system, like anywhere, like for example, I'm going to go to perplexity. Let's say I've gone to perplexity. I'm going to ask a very simple question. I'm going to just say who won India versus Zimbabwe. A very simple question in cricket. And the time it takes for you to give the response back makes a huge difference in how you're going to use this tool or not. And this is not just for an external tool, but even if you're building an internal tool, let's say a chatbot or something, a lot of your employees might not have a patience to wait for this to get back to you. So a lot of these RAG solutions are happening during the inference time. It's not a batch process thing it's almost like near real time you're trying to you would have probably built the index and all those things but the inference is like happening near real time so for this to work you speed is a very important component at least like from my experience of building solutions and tools internal and external speed is a very important component so if you happen to use graph rag maybe in its current form it may not be the most uh, the fastest solution that you would use otherwise in terms of technology, in terms of innovation, I absolutely love graph rag. But if you want to build a solid production grade rag solution, you would probably need to look into advanced rag solutions, advanced rag techniques, like use as a good search. Um, don't use like the typical uh, retrievers people are using. Don't use the typical similarity solutions people are using. Use something that is more advanced than this. But graph rag is not what you want, um, at least for 90% of the users for production use cases and uh, if you have any question let me know in the comment section i would love to hear your thoughts about graph rag see you in another video happy prompting